Today we're going to be discussing about my confirmed 23 man Ross USMNT squad for World Cup qualifying. So let's begin. So directions is like and subscribe. Those are direct the directions I'm telling you right now. I'm about to be reaching 100. 100 subscribers, okay? I want to reach that soon. As soon as possible, okay? I am at 98 right now. 98. You you guys might, might must press the subscribe button. So we can turn from this, from 98, which is this, to this, which is 100, okay? So, yeah. Now let's roll on with the video. So missing out on this roster is Colin Acosta. Matt Miasco, Lucas de la Torre, Ray Dretti Cannon, Shaq Moore, Daryl DK, and Sam Vines. Colin Acosta, I think he'll only be playing against Jamaica. And, uh, um, Lucas de la Torre, he'll only be there at the start. And Ray Cannon, oh shit, I fucking forgot this. He's. He's the, th he's the third choice, okay? So let's explain this. Okay, so Colin Acosta, he'll only be playing against Jamaica. Lucas de la Torre, he'll be there at the start, and Jared Cannon, he'll be the third choice. Um, Reggie Cannon, unless if a player like, let's say, DeAndre Yedlin or Sergio Des, or like, let's say, let's want to be moving Sergio Des to the left back position, and we need a new right back, I think that's where using Reggie is absolutely appropriate. But if, but if we have players like, where there are two right backs, I think that are way better than Reggie Cannon at the moment, and I'll, I'll discuss them later, okay? But um, he's uh, he's my third choice, honestly. Unless uh, if something happens, um, I think that's where we can use Reggie, okay? Shaq Moore, I think he needs to be playing as better position. Daryl DK, uh, he's my he's my third choice too. And Sam Vines, oh my gosh. Never want to see him in a USM and T-shirt. Uh, unless the Sam Vines obviously plays good again in Belgium, I, I, that's where let's say we can use him as a left back. We can, um, but yeah, Lucas de la Torre. I think he'll be there at the start. Um, as soon as p the prospects start to come out, I think there's where we can say, Lucas de la Torre, we don't want you anymore. But yeah, Matt Miazga. Oh my gosh, Matt Niazga. You need to be finding a club, man. New club, okay? New club, you're homeless. Kanakasa, again, he only be playing as Jamaica because that's where I'd only use him, so yeah. Now let's roll on with the video. So now, goalkeepers Ethan Horbath, Zach Steffen, and Matt Turner. So this is Matt Turner, okay? This is Matt Turner over here, and this is Zach Steffen. Okay. And if you guys want to know how Ethan Horbath looks like, um, search up how Ethan Horbath looks like, okay? Um, so, Ethan Horbath is 26 and he plays at Nottingham Forest. Zach Steffen is 226 and plays at Man City. And Matt Turner is 27 and he plays at New England Revolution. The question is, who is who's going to start, honestly? Who's going to start between these three goalkeepers? Uh, look, at, right now I have it like this. Okay, I have Ethan Horbath as my one or two, and Zach Steffen I put him as my two, or I can play him as my first option, and Matt Turner is my third choice, honestly. Um, I want to be, when I see this USMNT squad, I want them to see them try to dominate possession, and I think playing with a goalkeeper like Matt Turner is not appropriate because he's not good enough with his feet, he's not good enough. And he two plays in MLS, so yeah. Zach Steffen, he needs to start, so this is why he's my second option, or he can as well be my my third option. Honestly, if Matt Turner if I, my, uh, goes to Europe, like let's say he goes to the Premier League or somewhere else, I think that's where we can say Zach Steffen, you're gonna be on my, you're gonna be our third choice. Ethan Horbath, I think he'll, 
he's right now at the bench at nothing on fours, but he will most likely start as the season goes on. So yeah, I think this is where we we can say, hey, Ethan Horvath here is the number one right now. But right now this is a three horse race. Remember a three horse race. So yeah. Now let's go to the fullbacks. Anthony Robinson and George Bello are there going to be the left ba the left backs. And Sergio Dust and DeAndre Yazan are going to be the right backs. Okay? This is Sergio Dust. If you don't know who Sergio Dust is, this is Sergio Dust. He plays at Barcelona, okay? He's the best uh, out of these four fullbacks. Um, Sergio Dust, um, he, I think he'll most likely be the starter. He's the only one who, I, who on this entire roster, on this entire fullbacks list, that has his place right set in stone, okay? He doesn't need to do anything else. Because of how he plays in club level and who he's playing against, you you see this photo? Look at the badge. It's Barcelona, okay? Barcelona, okay? It's Barcelona. Um. So yeah, now let's discuss it. Anthony Robinson, he plays at Fulham. He needs to go to the pre he needs to go to the Premier League. Honestly, in my opinion, he needs to go to the Prem. In my own opinion, uh, if he wants to get better at his at his game. Especially his passing, he needs to be going to the Premier League. Uh, he, I mean, he played in the Premier League last season, and he was quite decent over there. So he needs to he needs to go to the Premier League club right now. George Bello is so disputed for me, and uh, you can as well put a fucking whole last thing over here. If Jonathan Gomez finds some some way of playing good at Real Sociedad, I think that's where you can say. George Bello, you're now you're not no more. But George Bello, right now at the moment, at the moment, he'll be my second option due to sign by being so bad. For Gino Das, he'll dispute. He is undisputed when it comes to the right back spot. DeAndre Yedlin, he plays at Galatasaray and he plays against better opposition, and he's the only one with experience. He's the only one that has experience. He has played out at, at a World Cup qualifier. He played it there in 2017. Although we did miss the World Cup, it's still a pretty valuable experience, I think, in my opinion. The fact that he played at a World Cup qualifier. So yeah. Now let's roll on with center backs. Center backs: John Brooks. He's my first option. Chris Richards is my number two. Mark McKenzie is my number three, and my four is Miles Robinson. So John Brooks, he has un he is he has the spot undisputed. And this is John Brooks if you don't know him. And Chris Richards if you don't know him too. Here he is. Okay. Both play on the Bundesliga. Look at, look at the badge. Look at the two badges. Wolfsburg is a pretty decent club. And Bayern Munich. Bayern Munich. Look at Bayern Munich. He plays at Bayern Munich. Okay. He, he needs to. He needs to uh, although in my opinion I think Chris Richards needs to go to, to Hoffenheim. He needs to go to Hoffenheim, okay? Let me write Hoffenheim, okay? Hoffenheim, okay? As Let's just continue, okay? So, Miles Robinson obviously plays at Atlanta United, and I think he's one of those MLS players who needs to leave MLS right now. Um, but, he has a lot of quality for an MLS player, in my opinion, so yeah. Mark McKenzie, uh, he needs to start, needs to start for Genk. If I think he'll be starting, but he if he doesn't, he needs to start, okay? Because if not, Man Miazgov will be coming right in. He'll be coming right in, okay? So now let's go to the central the defensive midfielders. Tyler Adams, you guys should all know him. This is him, okay? Jane, okay, so Tyler Adams is 22, and he plays at RB Leipzig. Okay, RB Leipzig is a very good club, honestly, and he plays pretty consistently over there. So, yeah. Um, Tyler Adams is the most important player on the team. So, let's put a star on Tyler Adams for that, okay? Let's put a star on this man. Uh, then, I think his backup should be James Sands. Um, this can too be Kellen Acosta, but I think he will only be playing against Jamaica. Therefore, I would only play him. But um, um, but I think James Sands is too one of those players that needs to leave MLS right now. 
he could as well too be playing the center back position, James Sands, and I play him as a central as, as a center central center back of a back three. Um, I wouldn't play him at a at a, at a back four because he's pretty average right there. But he has good passing, very good passing. I think he's a better passer than Taylor Adams, but protecting the back line, I think Taylor Adams is far better. He makes smarter tackles than James Sands. And he doesn't give up penalties like James Sands, like he did against Qatar. But honestly, this these are two very good setbacks, so yep. Let's go to the midfielders. If you guys don't know who Winston McKinney is, this is Winston McKinney. This is not Winston McKinney, this is Aaron Ramsey, okay? And if you don't know who who this guy is, this is this man is Caden Clark. Both are very good. Um... So, uh, so continuing on, continuing with this video is, uh, this is this is, um, so yeah, you guys know now know who Weston McKinney and Clayton Clark Clark are. So Weston McKinney plays at Juventus. You'll see the badge over here. It's not probably not seeable, but yep, Juventus. He plays at Juventus. Yeah, right. He plays at Juventus. He knows Musa, age eighteen, very good player. He plays at Valencia. Um, he will now be playing as a, a central role at Valencia. He played last year as a winger, but honestly. He plays much better as a midfielder, so yeah. Gianluca Busio, he be, he transfers to Venezia. That's in City B, okay? City B. Um, they're a pretty decent club in City B, okay? Let me. Okay, so can the viewers see this? He plays in City B, okay? And Caden Clark, um, he plays at New York Red Bulls right now at the moment, but he will be moving soon to Leipzig. Leipzig. One of the top clubs in Germany. Let's see. Um, so, yep. Those are the four midfielders. Um, right now, you can as well put it, look at the La Torre. Um, uh, right now at the moment. Because of Yunus Musa, he is... He, he is injured. He is injured right now at the moment. So, yep. This is this is why I told you guys that he, Luka de La Torre will be there at the start. And you can as well put him... Right there, over guys like a John Lucabusio or a Keaton Clark too. So yeah. So now let's go to the wingers: Christian Pulisic, Conrad De La Fuente, Gio Reyna, and Brendan Arson. Conrad De La Fuente plays at Olympique Marseille, and this is him. And Brendan Arson, this is him. If you guys don't know the two, um, Conrad De La Fuente played a very good game against Montpellier, and he plays at Olympique Marseille. Brendan Harrison plays at RB Salzburg. Christian Pulisic plays at Chelsea. Very good club, honestly. He should be trying to get more consistent minutes. Conor de la Fuente, he plays at Olympique Marseille, as I, as I said. Uh, Gio Reyna, 8-18, he plays at Borussia Dortmund. Brendan Harrison, 8-20, he plays at RB Salzburg. Um, Christian... Actually, I'm going to give you the guide to Conrad de la Fuente and Brendan Arson. Conrad de la Fuente played a very good game against Montpellier. He showed skills, he showed vision, he showed absolute penetration. This man can, it's like a knife. The, let's say the, a cheese, that's your defense. He's like a knife. Okay, like a knife. Okay? He's like a knife. It just cut, it just cuts a fucking Swiss cheese, honestly. He cuts like a knife. Um, Brendan Harrison, very good player. Honestly, he play he too plays the cam, but uh, honestly, he shows a very good vision. He can score the ball. He uh, he is very pretty decent when it comes to set pieces. Um, he's a pretty decent player. Honestly, when I get playing at RB Salzburg. So yep, these are four very good players. So yeah, now let's go be going to the final category, which is going to be the strikers. Okay, so it's gonna be Matthew Happy and Josh Sargent. This is Josh Sargent. He recently moved to Norwich City. Norwich City. Look at this. He he is age twenty one and he plays at Nor and he plays at Norwich City. Um, he he is arguably the starter. Okay, but there's still Matthew Happy who who plays at Schalke who will be playing at Bundesliga too. Um, the problem about this is probably the striker position. Honestly. Where we don't have too many good strikers, but both are pretty exciting. But hopefully, I think, 
Hopefully, Dar this man, Dark Sergeant over here, plays very good at Norba City. So now let's go to the pros and cons of this 23-man roster. So, technical ability, passing, dribbling, and aerial dominance are very four very good pros about this squad. Technical ability, you guys, you have technical players like Caden Clark, um, Conrad De La Fuente, Brendan Harrison, Christian Pulisic, Gio Reyna, Gianluca Busio, and the, and the list goes on. So Gina, that's too honestly very good technical ability. Passing you you have passing in Caden Clark, Gianluca Busio, Gio Reyna, Brendan Harrison, four very good passers. Dribbling Christian Pulisic, Gio Reyna, uh, Conrad de la Fuente. Honestly, very, very they, you have very good dribblers on the team. So Gino Das, aerial dominance. You have players like Matthew Hoppy and, and Josh Sargent. But you as well have players and defense like John Brooks and Chris Richards, who are pretty decent. Who John Brooks is very good on the air. And Cons is defending down the wings, honestly. Defending down the wings. Okay, so you have obviously weaknesses. Um, defending down the wings. Um, we're going to be playing with Anthony Robinson and Sergio Dest as fullbacks most likely, and that's going to be a very good, very, very, very big weakness about this side. But if we dominate possession, we can nullify this a bit. Scoring, honestly, this is a problem. Due to our strikers and not having many scores on this team, I think this, is what, this can lead us down in experience. Honestly, we have very few players who have played at World Cup qualifying. And honestly, it's going to be a, a very challenging when, when we get to see them playing against actual opposition. Who are going to be playing like the games of their lives because everybody wants to play at our World Cup. So, yep, yeah, experience too. But here, yeah, let me add the, la the left back position. Honestly, the, the left back position is a weakness too. And the striker somewhat is too a... A weakness when it comes to both of these sides. Um, pros that in this in this um some positions that are pros in this um are the left wing position, obviously. <sighs> you guys will have other very good positions like the the goalkeeper position for two very good positions in the USMNT. Um, you have the right back position too. Okay, England. You guys are you guys are not the only team who has good right backs. Honestly, we at the U.S. T two has very good right backs. And DeAndre yes, and it's Gino Das. And uh, yep, that is it. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.